Disney Lorcata's Rise of the Floodborne is here. We've been getting our hands on product, and we have for you in this video the 100th Anniversary Collector's Edition gift set. There was some confusion that this might not come out until December 1st, but hey, we have it, and we're opening it up for you here. Gonna do a review on the art on the cards in it, and we got four more boosters to open up inside. So let's get into this. It is really glued quite well. We're just gonna do this. Oh no, not the box. And uh, so, here we go. Really on packaging for, for putting cards away, but here we are. So first off, you have the set pack um, that's gonna be all the promo cards for this gift set. This is the only way to get these cards. These cards are not actually going to be, like last time with the gift set, you could pull these inside of the actual booster boxes, but these are not anywhere available other than in the actual gift set. So first we have Mickey Mouse's friendly face. We've we've seen this card. This is from the new set, not from the old set. And whenever this character quests, you pay three less for the next character you play this turn. He's a decent character and he's got three lore. Really like it. The art, simple but beautiful. This is a card that everybody's going to probably be liking. Um, you've got Elsa, and Elsa has a challenger. People love Elsa, so you know she's going to be used for Inkable nonetheless. Gorgeous art, once again. We then have Genie Powers Unleashed. Now, Genie Powers Unleashed, this one is actually from the previous set. This is not from Floodborne. This is from first chapter. You have, you know, a very good card in my opinion, but not the best of this little promo set. Stitch Abomination is also from the previous set. Something I'm noticing is these are a lot of cards that have a lot of lore. Uh, the Mickey Mouse, the Genie, and the Stitch all do three lore. The Maleficent Uninvited, also from the first set, for first chapter. Really like these arts. And, and the other thing is you have the artist's name on the art of the card, so you get to know who did the art. They become more pieces of work than actual cards you might want to play with but hey throw in your deck and play with them if you want to and then we have the maui um and for this card you know this is the big 8-8 tank that has three lore as well so these are your act cards that you're going to get in every single one of these boxes they are gorgeous you're probably going to want to at least buy it to get at least one set for collector's purposes now i'm going to open up these four packs and let's see if we can pull some luck out of these boosters so the first pack here we'll open up and take a quick get through and see how uh how lucky we are in the gift set all right so first off with our commons we have the i'm stuck winnie the pooh card we have the go the distance we have radigan criminal mastermind evasive I actually like that common card. We have another Basil card that we've seen plenty of. We've pre we previewed the Basil cards as well. Snow White's common card and Last Cannon. Um, this is actually a pretty cool card in my opinion. You you pay one ink and banish this item, and a chosen character gains Challenger three. Um, you know you can you can really buff some of your stuff with that, and it's only a one cost. Yzma without beauty sleep, really funny art. The, the, this is just a really hilarious art card. Corella Deville, perfectly wretched. We got Bashful. And now we're into our rares with Miss Judson, Mousekeeper. We have Cinderella, Ballroom Sensation. And for our foil, we have Tiana, True Princess. A lot of lore, but just a basic card. Gonna pack these up and then we're gonna get into our next tier. Seeing if we get an enchanted rare from a gift set. That that would be pretty nice, but we'll see. The Winnie the Pooh that actually is the playmat. Um really beautiful art. Wish it was a little bit better of a card, but still a useful card. Felicia, by Felicia. Queen of Hearts, James, Eudora, 
and oh, the beast that is also the playmat. So these two right here are the two playmats that came with this set. Um, came out with this set, so it's kind of interesting to have pulled them in one pack. We then have the Floodborne Queen of Hearts. We have the Robin Hood that deals one damage to a chosen character. Really, really like this card. You have the basic Cheshire Cat that you're going to put the other one on top of. Perplexing Signposts. Um, to Waterland, banish this item, return chosen character of yours to your hand. Very similar to the Bounce. Lumiere. Really awesome 7-7. Seven, seven. And Inkable. Oh, and we get the Hollow Foil of, of the Beast that is the beast for the playmat. So, that is pack number two. Let's check it out. Pack number three. See if we're lucky still. Actually, I don't think we pulled a... I don't, I don't think we pulled a Legendary, did we? Was that Tiana Legendary? I don't think so. No, it's not. It's no, no Legendary yet from the gift set. Croquet Mallet, Fidget, Flynn Rider, Jasmine, Happy, and Magic Broom. Now we're into our uncommons. Four Dozen Eggs, Snow White, Blue Fairy, now our rares, Strength of a Raging Fire, Scar, that's our first legendary pull, and Peter Pan's Shadow in foil this is a great card really happy to have pulled that in a foil and in, on top of getting scar legendary in it that was a good pack so good job gift set last pack let's see if we get the last pack magic get ourselves a great pull that would be pretty awesome send off for this set we got jiminy cricket in our commons we have mulan in the battle armor we have donald duck we have another Basil, Holt Still, Hercules. We have now our uncommons, our Sword in the Stone, Pacha, Tiana. Now we're into our, our rares, and we got a super rare and beast, Selfless Protector. This is actually a really interesting card with Shield Another, and this card I wanted so bad. Cogsworth Grandfather Clock. Great, great card to shift onto. And then Painting the Roses Red is our hollow. So... No, um, no Enchanted Rare, but honestly, between the Beast, the, the Legendary Scar, the Cogsworth, and the Foil, Peter Pan's Shadow, pretty happy with the pulls from the four packs. So, I would recommend going out and getting a 100th Anniversary set, just saying these cards are absolutely gorgeous, and that's the only way, I'll reiterate, the only way to get those cards. So... We're going to have more videos with more Floodborne content for you guys as we're just getting our hands on all this product and ripping and tearing things open as I'm sure many of you are. And quest on, my friends.